Astra Kim, and today we're going to be doing the pinwheel. So you'll need your tape, your pencil, a straight pin, a bendy straw, make sure it's bendy, and a balloon. So we're going to start by stretching out the balloon and blowing it up. Make sure it's stretchy so that it'll blow better. And you can just let it go. So we're going to take our straw and we're going to go from the opposite side of the bendy part. We're going to put the balloon on the end. Make sure it's tight. And we're going to take some of our tape and wrap it around so that no air can get into the balloon other than from the straw. So no air around the balloon. Just going to make it really tight. There we go. Now you're going to test it by blowing into your straw. See how it blew up my balloon? Now we're going to take our straw and we're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle, so like a square. We're going to take it and bend it and we're going to take it and then you're going to find the balance point. So you're going to take your finger and wherever it balances best, see how if I fall here, if I put it too far up, it's not enough weight on this side, it's too much weight on this side. So you find the balance point and mine is really far down the straw, which is okay. You're not going to put your pin there. So you're going to come up about an inch more towards the middle of the straw, but still closer to the balloon. And you're just take your straight pin and you stick it into the straw at approximately that point. If this doesn't work, you can play with it, take the pin out, move your pin over, and find a better spot for this to happen. Oh no. There we go, I got it in. Okay, so now we're gonna take the pencil, take the part of the pin, and you stick it directly into the center of the eraser. Push it down, not too far, just a little bit. So now your straw is in the center of the pin. Remember how we took the straw and we made it a 90 degree angle? You're gonna make sure it's left like that. And you're gonna blow your balloon up. And let go, and it should spin. So this demonstrates Newton's second and third law. It's Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration, which means the bigger the force, the bigger the movement, the faster your movement's going to be. So the bigger you blow up your balloon, the faster your rocket pinwheel is going to spin. So the third law is every, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the air blowing out is pushing the balloon back, which makes it spin. Because you blew up the balloon, and the air is pushing out. It makes the balloon spin. This is exactly how rockets work with um, Newton's third law, is that when the air blows one way, it pushes the object the other way. So that's why it's called a rocket pinwheel. So send us your videos of your rocket pinwheels and show us what you've created.